guys, it's Elena, and today we're going to be making a space, fantasy space scene in Procreate using my Galaxy brush set for Procreate, and the purchase link for that is down in the description below. And if you don't have that brush set, you're welcome to follow along with any other brushes that you may have. So we're going to go ahead and start out with a new document that is 14 by 11 inches, or however big you want it to be. And I'm going to change the background layer to black by double tapping here. And I'm going to be using the Pastel Galaxy palette that comes with the brush set. And we're gonna go ahead and start out with a stamp. So in the stamp set, you could do this with any of the, the moons or the planets as well, but I wanted to try it out with a, an eclipse and so I'm going to go ahead and just put this fairly big and I'm just going to put it right in the middle of my page and I'm just going to adjust that a little bit so that it's more centered. And so now I'm going to add a new layer and put that in the background and I'm going to go ahead and choose I'm going to go ahead and go to my Galaxy, the uh, Galaxy Dynamic brush set, and I'm going to choose my Soft Cloud CV brush, and I'm going to go in here and choose some of the darkest colors on this color palette and add just a little bit of a smoky, wispy look behind this eclipse. And um, you'll see it sort of pop through in the middle here, and we're going to do something after this that will fix that. But I just wanted to show you, it'll be easier to show you that after I've already put the background in. So using the pressure, I'm just going to keep it really light and add a few colors in the background. So now that I've got a little bit of color back here, I'm going to go to my space number two brush and I'm just going to select sort of an orangey color here and add a couple of taps just to have a bit of variety in the texture here. I'm going to take a dark purple color now, do the same thing. Okay, so you can see that it's kind of popping through in the middle here, and that is not something that I want. I want it to be solid black in the middle, kind of like a black hole, or just like a like an eclipse. I don't want it to be see-through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the eclipse layer, and then I'm going to go to my select tool, keep it on automatic, and then I'm going to just use my finger and tap right in the middle of this hole and then slide to the right until I see it fill most of this area. So now I have this area selected. Back in the layers panel, I'm going to go back down to the previous layer, tap it and then tap it again and tap mask. So what a mask will do is that the white area means that this layer will show through only where it's white here and the black is like covering it up. So this is actually the opposite of what we want. So I'm going to tap on the mask layer and then tap invert. So now when I turn this off, you can see that because of the layer mask, you can't see what's in the middle. So that's what we want. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make a new layer on top and put some more clouds and build up a bit more texture on top of this. So I'm going to start out with nebula number four, CV. And I want to choose my darkest blue color and I'm just going to choose a couple different colors and build it up with this brush.
gonna go ahead and choose a different nebula, nebula number 11 CV, and do kind of the same thing, and just choose some different colors that seem right. I'm gonna go with pink this time, and you'll see that I'm kind of going over top of this area, but not too much, because I want it to still stand out, but kind of look like the clouds are over top. So I'm just gonna keep on building and just try to be careful not to go too overboard with it. And I'm gonna go with nebula number five, CV, and just do a little bit more and then I think that I've done enough with the colors. Okay, so now that I've got a little bit of color in this area, I'm gonna go ahead and add some shadows to some of the parts where it's getting really bright. So I'm gonna add a new layer here and choose black. And then I'm going to go to nebula number three and just add a little bit of shadow to these areas. Okay with that. Now I'm going to go back to this layer where I put the colors and I'm just going to choose my selective intensifier and add just a bit of intensity to some of these areas. I'm just going to take the opacity down just a bit. So with that done, I'm just going to go ahead and add one more layer on top of everything. So on top of the shadow layer as well. And I'm going to choose my mid orange color and small dense stars. And I'm going to put some stars in to these areas. to add the stars mostly to where the clouds are and now I'm gonna go and take my stardust number two which is not as intense as the star brushes and I'm going to just sort of go along the edges so that it's uh, a bit more faded looking Go ahead and leave it like that so we have a little bit of a black hole uh, here in the middle and then you've got the clouds coming down over top in sort of a 3d way so that was it and i hope that you like it and um, let me know if you have any questions or comments and i'll be excited to see um, if you want to upload your artwork to instagram or facebook or anything like that i'd love to see what you come up with thanks for watching mm -hmm.